In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to connect Jotform to Salesforce via their integration system. Now, in case you don't know, Jotform is a form platform. It allows you to create forms for whatever reason. We depend on it a huge amount inside of our business um, for holidays, for case management, for applications to work with us, a load of different things. Um, and we actually have Salesforce. So previously, we have been connecting Jotform to Salesforce via Zapier. Uh, Zapier being a third-party integration platform. However, Jotform have very recently released an integration or a direct integration from Jotform to Salesforce. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. It's really, really useful. So firstly, I'm gonna give you a run through of what Jotform actually is, how to kind of a very, very basic setup, and then how to integrate Jotform with Salesforce. So as you can see here, I am on the Jotform website. If you've never used this before, it's just a means of creating forms. It's very, very good, uh, slick, easy to use, and I strongly recommend it to anyone that's looking for form creation. Like I said, we use it for our business. Firstly, you can see we've not actually got any forms yet. In order to create one, just go Go to the create form button in the top left hand corner um, you'll be presented with an option to use a template import or start from scratch or you can create a signable document i'm not going into any extensive detail in this video on how to create forms inside a job form i just want to demonstrate the integration with salesforce so i'm going to press the start from scratch option and then you have a form layout option. You can use the card form or the classic form. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use classic, although personally, I do actually prefer the card form view. But if you are new to drop form, test either out. They're both great options. So we've got the classic form here. And as you can see, we just have our basic form with nothing on. Now, in order to add elements, or I say questions, to ask the person that is submitting the form, you just need to press the plus button on the left-hand side and you'll be presented with an array of options here. Now, let's use an example for the sake of this video. And let's say I wanna create a form for our leads. So what I wanna do is every time someone submits a form, our lead form, it then creates a new lead inside of Salesforce, okay? So I'm gonna to need to ask some basic information about this particular lead in order to ensure that the business required fields on the leads area are being met. So we've got the full name, so I'm gonna need first name and last name. So I'm just gonna to title to that first name or full name, probably more suitable if I could spell correctly, it usually does help as well. And then I'm gonna add the email address and then I'm gonna add a phone number. Um, and then, you know, I could add a drop down menu to be product specific as well if I wanted to. So maybe ask what they're inquiring about. But this will be enough for the sake of this video. Like I said, I'm not explaining how to use Jotform. I'm just demoing the integration between Salesforce and Jotform. So I'm just gonna call this the lead form. And there we go, happy days. Now, every time, someone submits this form, I then want it to populate into my Salesforce system as a new lead. So this is the exciting bit, let me show you how. If you go to the settings in the middle option here, and then on the left hand side, we've got a list of options, but we wanna head over to the integrations area. From the integrations area, we then wanna go ahead and select Salesforce. This is what makes this a really, really valuable tool. We can just directly integrate Jotform with Salesforce as opposed to having to use Zapier or Integromat and set everything up and it's a massive headache and then sometimes it doesn't work. We can just do it straight from Jotform. So select Salesforce. Um, and if you have not already got a Salesforce account associated with your Jotform account, all you need to do is press use another account or just use account. There might be like a pop-up menu where it says connect account here. One thing to bear in mind, if you're looking to do this, you do need at the very minimum enterprise version of Salesforce, unfortunately, okay? So do consider that if you're using the professional version, this is not going to work. But I already have a Salesforce account connected, so I'm gonna select that account. And then what I wanna do is create a new record. However, we do have the option to find and then update an existing record. So the way we would find it is if the email was the same as a record um, or a phone number or a unique reference number, for example, we could then find that record and then update it. But in this instance, to keep things simple, I'm gonna create a new record. And then we just need to select the Salesforce object that we're creating a new record for. Now, like I said earlier in the video, this is gonna be for the leads. So I wanna create a new lead on the form submission. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for lead as an object and then select that. So you can see here now what we need to do is connect the fields on Salesforce with the fields on our form or the elements on our job form. 
So it's just a case of mapping. So first name, first name being connected, last name, last name being connected, phone number and email. This is all automatically being done by Dropform. Interestingly enough, you can see that I've actually missed a company option on our Dropform form. So there's nothing to connect it. So what I can do is just go back to our build. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a short text element. And I'm just going to call this company. There we go. That's job done. And then head back to our settings area, go to integrations, go to our Salesforce, and then I'm going to redo what I've just done because obviously I've made a bit of a mistake here. Go to lead. And then as you can see, company we now have, I can then associate the company object field inside of Salesforce with the form field that I've just created. Now, if you'd like to adjust any of these, you can just use the drop down menu and make changes accordingly. And once you're happy, all you need to do is press save action. That's it. Just press the save button. That integration, press save, has now been created. That integration is ready to go. So anytime someone submits a form, someone submits this lead form, it will then create a new lead inside of your Salesforce system. Now, there is an alternative way to do this, and I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how to do it. So now I've logged into Salesforce, I'm going to show you exactly how to do the same thing we've just done, but inside of the Salesforce system. Firstly, though, you'd need to go ahead and add JotForm into Salesforce via the Salesforce app exchange. So you would need to install that package into Salesforce. Once you've done that, you want to go to the three by three dotted button in the top left hand corner and go to the JotForm area. As you can see, we are already on this. And then you'll probably land on the setup page. You just need to log into your JotForm account from this page. And then from here, you can go to JotForm and you are able to see all of the forms inside of your JotForm account. And then you can go ahead and use this Salesforce button, press go to integration, and then you can go ahead and connect the integration this way as opposed to via your JotForm account. So as opposed to having to exit out Salesforce and log in to JotForm and create the integration or update the integration, you can do exactly the same thing from the actual Salesforce system itself, which is really, really helpful. It also means that you can create forms from, Jot, from Salesforce essentially inside of JotForm, then do the Salesforce integration directly from the Salesforce system, um, and then you're good to go. So. This is a really, really powerful tool. Hopefully you understand how the integration works between the two systems. So this is a totally free feature that comes with JotForm. Strongly recommend looking at it if you're using Salesforce. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.